Next on the list is arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, chronic inflammatory systemic disorder causing progressive destruction of the joints. As many as 80% become disabled, can cut 18 years off one's lifespan. There are drugs, but unfortunately they're often associated with severe side effects, blood loss, bone loss, immunosuppression, toxicity of liver and eyes. There's got to be a better way. Well, populations that eat more meat do seem to have more rheumatoid arthritis, and you know, there have been some dramatic case reports of rheumatoid arthritis attacks being triggered by consumption of animal products, uh, starting about six to 10 hours after ingestion of animal protein, lasting a few days, but they stop when patients stop consuming animal products. The researchers suggest that immune complexes formed by the body attacking animal proteins may uh, promote autoimmune reactions inside the joints themselves. And indeed, those with rheumatoid arthritis have striking elevations in antibodies to foods like fish, pork, egg whites, dairy proteins, and uh, even some cereals. It could also be because of a pro-inflammatory effect of meat fats or free radicals from the iron accumulating in the joints or other mechanisms. But look, case reports, country by country analyses can really only raise questions. To prove cause and effect, you need an interventional study to put it to the test. Here we go. 13 month long randomized controlled trial, plant-based diets for rheumatoid arthritis. Patients put on a vegan diet for three and a half months and then switched to an egg-free vegetarian diet for the remainder. Compared to the control group that didn't change their diet, the plant-based group significant improvement in morning stiffness within the first month, cutting the number of hours they suffered from joint stiffness in half, a drop in pain, a drop in disability. They reported subjectively just feeling better, significant improvement in their grip strength, fewer tender joints, fewer tenderness per joint, and less swelling. They also had dramatic drops in inflammatory markers in the blood, sed rate, C-reactive protein, white count, highly significant and clinically relevant findings. What about osteoarthritis, most frequent cause of physical disability among older adults, affecting about 20 million Americans, affecting maybe 20% of Americans in the coming decades, becoming more and more widespread among younger people? You know, osteoarthritis is characterized by loss of cartilage within the joint. And we used to think it was just kind of wear and tear, uh, but it's now generally accepted it's an active joint disease with an inflammatory component. So if the loss of cartilage is caused by inflammation, maybe if we put people on an anti-inflammatory diet, it could help, like with rheumatoid arthritis. Using optimal nutrition and exercise as a first-line intervention could well be the best medical practice. So where's the best science on what optimal nutrition might look like? The China study is a prime example, showing the serious health consequences. <laughs> the serious health consequences of high consumption of pro-inflammatory foods, meat, dairy, fat, and junk, and low consumption of anti-inflammatory plant foods, right? whole grains, vegetables, fruits, beans, split peas, chickpeas, lentils. The unnatural Western diet contributes to this low-grade systemic inflammation, oxidative stress, tissue damage, irritation, placing the uh, immune system in this kind of overactive state, uh, which can be kind of a common denominator for these conditions like arthritis. Next on the list is stroke and high blood pressure.